Vaishnavi Sangam and today we are going to solve this cube. This is a very interesting cube. Like this 3 by 3 by 3 cube which has 3 cuts. This cube also has 3 different cuts. What I was really curious about is how it actually moves. If I make this turn, these lines actually align no matter what turn you make. It looks something like this when it's scrambled. Actually, this could be a nice chandelier. Solving this is actually pretty easy. If you know how to solve this cube, a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, this is just that. It's the same thing. You look at the shape and size of the piece, which actually helps us solve the cube. So I usually start solving by finding out the smallest center. Although all these centers are actually of the same size. but. All these centers have different depth. This is actually very intuitive. You have to find out which piece is the deepest. I see this one is. I see this piece is also very small. I usually start out with the uh, smallest ones because it is actually very easy to spot. So I'll just try to bring it here. Okay, these two match. This might seem a little difficult, but you have to use your fingers and identify if they are of the same level. Now, when these two match, I have to match this side with its center. Okay, I see these two sides matches. This edge piece is actually in its right position. I see that this small piece can be on the layer that I want to solve. And since these two sides match, I'll flip it like this. There you go. This layer matches in depth and these two layers match in depth. Now I see this is also again a small side which is matching with depth in this side. I'll try to flip this side like this and there you go. I have found three edge pieces that match its size. Now on moving the cube like this, I feel that this side could come right here to actually see if it matches i'll try to take it to that side like this i'll try to flip this side and see if it matches like this oh yes it does i'll try to bring on this side this is a plus and this plus is of the same level you have to make sure that these two sides also match with their level now that we have formed the cross on the first layer, we'll just go ahead and solve the corners. You see this side is really small and it should actually come here. So I'll bring this down and I'll take this up like this. Okay, it matches. There you go. This corner is solved. These two sides match, these two sides match and these all sides match. I feel this small piece would also be on the top layer. I'm guessing on this side. So let me bring this down and see if it matches. Oh yes it does. There you go. I see that this small piece, this really thin piece should also be up there. And I'm confused if it should come here or here. I'll just try here for once. Uh, actually this side matches but this doesn't. That means this piece should actually come here and this piece should actually come here. So I'll take this down like this and I'll try to match it on this side. Okay. There you go. This side completely matches. Now that another tiny piece that I have right here should come here. There you go. This really thin first layer is done. And now we'll go ahead with the middlemost layer. And there is one thing that you have to understand about this cube. It is not like just solving this cube, even though the mechanics is the same. But in this case, you are allowed to mess up. It has happened to me many, many times. While solving, I would make a wrong assumption. Whole cube will be destroyed. So allow yourself to make mistakes. It's, it's actually okay. In real life too, girl, chill. We need to practice this a lot of times and... You're going to solve it. So this is what I do with the middle layer. I keep on rotating the top layer till I find a piece which actually matches with the center right here. But I see that it also matches with the center right here. This means that this piece is supposed to be here, not here. I'll keep on doing this till I find any piece that matches. Okay, none of the pieces matches for this one. I'll go ahead with this side. Okay, none of them match here too. Mm, this doesn't match if you can see. Okay, this piece matches, but it also matches with the top piece. So it cannot come in that side. Okay, there you go. This is the last straw. Okay, there you go. So this piece matches with the center right here. Look. And this doesn't match with the center up here. Which means that this piece has to come either here or here. I'll see where it should go to check either rotate on this side. If this matches the center, this piece is supposed to go on this side. If it matches with the center on this side where it doesn't, if it does, this piece should go right here. So we'll do the middle layer algorithm, take it away, 
bring this up and bring this back down take it towards the side flip the front bring it back down like this there you go this piece is now in its right position we'll keep on doing this till we find i see that these three edges actually are in its right position which means this has to be taken down this layer matches if you can see now i need to take this either on this side or on this side i see that this is actually on its right side so that means that this piece is supposed to go right here let's check okay this side actually matches which means this piece is supposed to go right here we'll do the same algorithm there you go now this side is sorted so we need to find the right place for this guy right here i'll try and see if i find its position no i don't which means that this piece is actually supposed to be right here flipped like this now i see that this edge is actually not solved which means that this needs to be flipped so i will just exchange it with this bring it on the top and then solve it there you go this side matches and this side doesn't match if you can see and this side actually matches with this side so i'll just bring this piece right here there you go the bottom layer and the middle layer is solved now just like solving the 3 by 3 by 3 cube you have to solve the top layer in this case i see that my top layer already has a plus now if in your case it doesn't if it's like this if it has a line or if it has a l like this you just need to do the same algorithms that was taught for this particular cube if you don't know how to solve the cross on the top layer you can go check out a tutorial that i have linked in the description below so let's just create a plus on the top if you have an l like this there you go there's a plus so the next step is to solve these corner pieces i see none of them are in its right place so we'll keep doing this algorithm till we find the right place there's one corner piece that is solved i'll put it on the bottom left and do this algorithm again the top layer is now on the same level the next step is to bring these four corners to its actual right place so we'll try to match and see if any one of them do go okay so in this particular case i can see that all these four corners are actually in its right place if it isn't like in this particular case these two sides match but these two don't so i'm going to do this algorithm now you can see that all these top corners are solved now this particular case is very similar to this case right here you have one solved edge and three edges that are not solved so just like we do in this particular cube we are going to move these three edge pieces so this piece clearly needs to come here this piece needs to go here and this piece needs to come here if you have all these four edge pieces not in its right position you know what to do you have to do the same process but just twice notice if you have to go clockwise or anti clockwise so in this particular case i have to go anti clockwise so i'll just flip the front <laughs> okay it looks really weird while solving so just go with the flow there the cube is solved so this cube was really really interesting for me to solve it was kind of like a challenge i knew how to solve this cube but this one took it to the next level it kind of took me out of my comfort zone where i was too habituated to looking at the colors and then knowing which algorithm to do but since here there are no colors you have to really feel the pieces and see which piece should go at which side it's really not as direct as it is in this case so it's kind of really really fun i got this cube off of amazon i'll link this cube in the description please go and buy this it's really 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 fun it's a nice added to your collection it's a really good time pass and it's just nice to know that you can solve this so if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed watching this tutorial then just gently tap the blue like button and leave a comment any comment and here are the bloopers my name ah you look at the shape and size of the part what is it peace you look you look at the say 
shape. You look at the shape and size of the puppies. There's a lot of noise. You need to practice. You need to practice this. You need to practice this. Ha 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 ha. There is one video that specifically deals with solving the topic. There is this one video that specifically deals. Okay. It took me out of my it. Um. <laughs> Just my pay. My pay card though.